Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. What is the difference between Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis? How you understand this from this section? Okay. So, this is ulcerative colitis. You will have thin walled mucosa, okay, with superficial mucosa to submucosa ulcers, okay, and this is spreading, okay. This mucosa, these ulcers are spreading, but superficial. So, superficial spreading ulcers, spreading manner. Leaving in between, in between this, you will have, this is, this is ulcer, okay? In between these ulcers, there will be generating or healthy, healthy or regenerating mucosa. These are termed pseudo polyps. Okay, these are pseudo polyps. So, these are pseudo polyps. What, so, the characteristic superficial spreading ulcers muc involving mucosa to submucosa with intervening re normal or regenerating mucosa in between these ulcers called pseudo polyps. Why pseudo? Because it is just normal mucosa or regenerating mucosa, not polyps involving the whole layer, uh, whole wall of the, uh, of the colon, no. It is just appearing like polyps because they are in between ulcers, okay? Because they are in between ulcers, okay? But, and this involved bowel wall, okay, so ulcers, thin wall, ulcers, and number three, pseudobolus, okay. This is for ulcer colitis, but for Crohn's disease, we will have edematous thick wall, thick thick and edematous. Okay, with creeping of fat, fat creepings. This is immunological theory with creeping of fats. With transmural, mural means wall. Mural means wall. Trans mural lesions. Transmural involving the whole thickness of the bowel wall, okay? So the intestinal wall or colon, colonic mucosa will be involved with mucosa, submucosa, okay? And musculosa till the end, till serosa. This is transmural, but in interrupted manner, not discontinuous, not continuous like this. No, it is just discontinuous, leaving normal areas in between creating what is called couple stoning and the skip lesions. Area, skip area. Area disease and the area skip. Okay, so this is Crohn's disease. So again, Crohn's disease, what is the distribution from mouth uh, in the shape of abscess ulcers until anus, any area could be affected. What is the most common area? Area, terminal, Alien, terminal, alien, okay? 
but here are sotifcolites affecting rectum, most common area, rectum. Going back to ileum, maybe going back to colon, whole colon, and ileum, like this. You will have So you will have this rectum is firstly affected, then go through the whole colon and then may be reaching the terminal ileum creating what is called backwash, backwash because it's from down up, backwash iliatus. Okay, but here from mouse to colon, this is the distribution. What is the form of the lesion, the shape of the lesion? You will find transneural discontinuous skip lesion, couple stoning of why couple stoning because creating couple stone appearance of the edematous wall, leaving the areas that cells. So transneural involving the three layers of the wall, leaving skip area and making couple spooning. This is the shape okay, of couple spooning. With two features, linear fissuring ulcers. You will have linear fissuring ulcers. Okay. So you will have linear fissuring ulcers. Okay, linear measuring ulcer. And you will have also creeping of fat. Fat creeping is that the fat is not confined to its area of having this is a no, it is creeping, invading and exceeding its limits. So this is a creeping effect. With edematous thick wall colon. Okay, this is the, the gross features of Crohn's disease. So scap lesion, couple stoning, transneural ulcer. But here in, in, in this disease, what's called ulcer colitis, you will find superficial mucosa to submucosa ulcers with intervening regenerating or healthy mucosa called pseudo polyps appearing like polyps okay with thin walled mucosa thin nearly atrophied mucosa okay so like this this is the the difference between both of them and this is not discontinuous it is continuous manner it is in continuous manner Okay, so this is superficial spreading but continuous in alpha But in Crohn's disease, we have skip lesions. Okay, this is the difference. In if you understand these diagrams, by the way, I am not discussing from any book. 